Hi Virgo, welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at <clears throat> a little bit of love, life, advice for you, a little bit of everything for this bonus reading. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. My intention with this reading is if your monthlies didn't really resonate with you, uh, maybe something here will. So it may not be for everybody. Please keep that in mind. It could be past, past, present, or future. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Male or female watching. It uh, doesn't matter. So uh, Virgo, everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Please check that out. Personal reading information along with a lot of other things. Your playlist, social media, lots of stuff there. <clears throat> and I may or may not be continuing these bonus readings, Virgo. So leave me some feedback, comments, what you think. Or I may turn them into elemental bonus readings. Air, earth, fire, water. Instead, I'm not really sure, so leave me some feedback. And the contest giveaway is still open until the end of March, if you have not yet already entered, to win a tarot deck along with a free 20-minute reading by me, as in a thank you for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So if you'd like to enter that, again, check the description box in the pin top comment for all that information. And if you head on over to my community tab, I have two polls there I would like everybody to participate in. Be greatly appreciated. What kind of readings you would like to see per month and if you would be interested in extended readings on Vimeo. And if you do, thank you. All right, Virgo. I think that's it. All right, Virgo. Virgo, hope everybody's doing well. Let's see what's going on in love for Virgo spirit, please, at this time for this bonus reading. What's going on? I'm going to pull one from each oracle along with the bottom of the deck. And then we will clarify all the energies here with tarot. So I'm going to take the energies as they come and see what's going on here. So what do we have here? We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So there's something here between you and a love that may need healing. And we have romance, Cupid's arrow stripes. So <clears throat> this is like maybe healing the romantic connection between you and your person. Maybe bringing the romance healing and bringing the romance back perhaps into a relationship. Sort of like healing it and rekindling it in a way. So we get to the tower. We'll clarify all that for you, Virgo. Or you could be healing... Although this says you and your beloved healing, it could be you healing and then also now having a no, new romance uh, coming forward. So I'm going to see how that resonates for you. How that resonates for you, Virgo. So let's see what's going on in life right now for this bonus reading for Virgo spirit, please. Thank you so much. What's going on in life? For Virgo right now, spirit, please. That's too many. That's too many for Virgo. Virgo, please. Right, let's take that one. And we have the High Priestess Owl. This is a time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust your spiritual gifts, as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. So this is having uh, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. This is knowing the secrets, but also an energy of kind of keeping to yourself. You know, pause, reflect, keeping to yourself, not really, uh, you know, spilling secrets out, you know. So there could be no communication or this is an energy of just kind of keep things to yourself right now about a situation. Let's see what's on the bottom here. So we have the four of spring otter. It's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. So the four of spring here is the four of wands, which is my twin flame card here. But doesn't have to be. This could be celebrating uh, ceremonies, moving in together, uh, commitment, marriage, very stable, happy home life between you and a soulmate. But something here you're needing to listen to your gut and your intuition and higher knowing about between you and your person. Maybe something that you're kind of mutually trusting each other in your intuition about, but not really telling anyone about it. That's kind of what I'm getting about something. Maybe you're moving or buying a home, the two of you, but you're not really telling anyone until it goes through or until it's final or something like that. So I do see paperwork here. So it could be like 
legal documents and things like that. But we do have complete transformation here with the butterfly. So, and we do, the high priestess is two, which is two is a unity. So, could be different messages for different people, so please keep that in mind. So let's see what, what the advice is for you, Virgo, who is watching this at this time for this bonus reading. What is the advice for Virgo spirit, please? Thank you so much. All right, I'm feeling this one. Renewing your life. Radiant vitality is filling my life. And you see, though they're removing clutter and throwing it off the cliff here, I do see like <laughs> boxes and moving. So some of you could be like cleaning up and cleaning uh, things up because you're like having a renewal in life. Maybe you're physically or moving, changing your physical uh, <clears throat> address, like actually moving, clearing up the clutter, getting ready. Rising above, I see only beauty and grace. So some of you are rising, you know, maybe where you're living is in such a great place and now you're rising above that and actually, you know, feeling good now, you know, because the lotus flower here does grow in murky, muddy, you know, circumstances, but rising above that. So where, if you were in an area that was like murky or whatever here, I see you clearing away that clutter and moving on and uh, rising above that finally. Wow, as you see this owl rising above. All right, so, and maybe um, by doing this, it's healing your relationship over here. And it's like you're having a new lease on romance again. Like you're feeling more uh, romantic, loving towards one another. You're not such in a negative space because wherever, and it could all have to do with where you were actually physically living. Maybe it was just dragging you down and not putting you both in a good space. But we're going to see here, um, Virgo, 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 what's going on. I'm going to clarify with tarot. So just take, you know, the messages as they resonate for you. I could pull the tarot and get totally different messages. So maybe these opening messages were for some. Now I could pull the, pull the tarot and have totally different messages. So please only take what resonates. All right. Wow. They're all stuck together. I feel like you're stuck somewhere, Virgo. You can't wait to get out of that situation. There we go. Okay. All right, Virgo. What is this about healing and love and romance? The tree of life upside down. <laughs> wow. So I feel like <clears throat> you're uprooting from where you are and moving on. But I see that, you know, um, you may be feeling very imbalanced right now. This does represent all the chakras here. It has the knight, the king, the queen energy. Um, so I feel like it has all seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's like the, the tree of life from like the ace to the king. Um, I believe it has all the chakras on here. It has all the major arcana on here. So it's like the whole tree of life but i feel like it's upside down so you're feeling imbalanced and i feel like you're uprooting <laughs> uprooting your life and moving on yeah to where you feel and this is your energy wow i can't make this up so the queen of coins um it is capricorn but since this is earth that is virgo taurus capricorn so i must take that as you like looking <laughs> looking at that and saying no it's time to uh Oh, I just saw something flipped here. Here we go. So good news, fiery, passionate communication or good news coming in. This could be the good news here coming in. Uh, if you're uprooting a situation here, going towards something more stable and grounded and secure, this is the good news coming in here. And I feel like this is going to heal your relationship if you've been not in a good space with your person. And it's going to bring, like, I don't know, the romance back into your life for some reason. Passionate communication here. The good news. So what else here for? Yeah, moving. Moving. Knight of Coins moving. It's been slow moving, but it's stable. It's grounded. Moving somewhere, and I said that, somewhere where it's more stable and grounded. 
and secure. <clears throat> and it's been a long time coming, very slow moving. Yeah, stress, fear, worry, fear, worry, anxiety. So maybe even where you are now, it's like you got to watch your back all the time. Like uh, someone, someone trying to break in or someone trying to break into my car, steal my car, someone to mug or attack me on the street. I don't know. That's kind of like the energy I'm getting. All right. So like you can't wait to move away from that energy. And I think it's just going to bring like the peace, harmony, romance, like back into your relationship. Ten of coins, yeah. So there you go. So that's bringing the stability. This is about marriage. Ten of coins is about marriage, long-term commitments, total wealth abundance for the long term, legacy of a family dynamic for generations, you know. So yeah, this is definitely talking about a marriage here. So you're moving to some, moving and uprooting to somewhere else where you're more stable, secure, and grounded, more abundant, safe, secure, and it's going to make your bond much stronger with your person. It's going to heal. You're going to have the romance come back in. Because I, I just feel like wherever you were, if it was a negative energy or a low vibrational energy, it also put you both in that energy, which made your relationship in that energy. But by actually doing this, it's going to heal and bring the love and romance back in between the two of you. Sounds strange, but that message must be for somebody. All right. So, what is this high priestess in the forest spring? I feel like these things are all related. Sometimes that happens. What is this high priestess? Yeah, so <laughs> the palace of swords. So, this is like living in a space of total truth and clarity and uh, mind space, open, honest, truthful communication. Um, cutting away the things no longer serving you and having that clarity, telling it like it is, not backing down. So living in that total space now, palace is like a dwelling. So again, again with the dwelling here, the home, the space, the living structure. Wow. So now we have the knight of wands, <laughs> knight of wands, if I can talk here. So moving forward passionately, excited for this, <laughs> moving <laughs> you could be upgrading from like a really, you know, not so nice place to live to like a really beautiful place. So it's like, you just cannot wait. You're feeling excited, fiery, passionate about this move, moving forward. Again, igniting the fire and the passion moving forward also with your person. All right, so we do see like two little soulmates here. So I definitely feel like you're with a soulmate, especially with that tree of life. And then the palace of wands. Are you kidding me right now, Virgo? Oh my God, palace, pa oh, what else do we have here? In the two of cups, I did say soulmate. Here's the soulmates here. The swans mate for life. So you're definitely with your soulmate here. Moving with your soulmate to the palace of swords, the palace of wands, feeling fiery, passionate, Go get her. Exciting kind of energy. Celebrating. 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 This. Whatever this is. Celebrating this. Going out. We're having a good time. You've been waiting for this. Three of Wands. You've been waiting and waiting for this to happen. And finally, it's here. With your soulmate. Two palace cards. Wow. Two dwellings. Wow. I can't make this up. And... <laughs> So Spirit just showed me this clump with the lovers on top. So you're definitely with your soulmate here, your lover. All right, so marriage or commit, commitment of some kind. What is this? All right, so what is this renewing your life and rising above? For Virgo, please, thank you so much. What is this? Okay. Yeah, ending, ending painful, hurtful situation here. Ending it. <clears throat> I feel like wherever you were, you just, I don't want to use the word hate, but that's the word. You just did not like it at all. One bit, the whole, you could have even lived in this place or been in this place for 10 years and you totally dislike every single minute, every single minute. But now you're finally clearing the clutter, clearing everything and rising above. Five of coins here could speak of monetary lack. 
feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. I feel like wherever you're, whatever you're leaving behind, you're just leaving it behind in the dust, like gone by. Could have been monetary problems. That's why um, you had to stay where you were or the situation you were in for such a long time. But I do see rising above. So what else here for Virgo? Again, with the fives. Fives are about change also. So we've got two fives of change. If you add that together, ten. Ending. Two tens, endings, and change. Inner conflict, competition. Maybe there was a lot of uh, arguing and bickering here uh, in your home life because of the situation. Because of monetary lack, material lack. But now things ending and new beginnings happening and rising above and renewing your whole situation here. So what else for Virgo? Okay, that definitely wanted to fly out. Justice. So getting justice, serving justice. I'm not getting like, like divorce or anything like that. I'm getting things just balancing out, having the truth and clarity. Finally gaining, you know, that justice in your life that you deserve for the two of you. Something coming in for you, meant for you. <clears throat> Again, could be that paperwork, documents, as right there. Again, Ten of Wands, releasing heavy burdens, no longer serving you. You and your person. Two cards of endings. What else? Eight of Coins. So you worked hard here. Worked hard to make this change and rise above and renew your life between the two of you. You could have both worked two jobs. You could have worked long hours. Uh, but really worked hard to rise above and renew your situation. Here, Virgo. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So temperance. So here's healing, balance, being patient. Uh, soulmates. Again, this temperance angel brings the soulmates together. So I definitely, again, feel like you're with your soulmate healing energy. Queen of Cups energy. So again, a lot of love and emotions between the two of you. Eight of Wands, again, moving. So there's my confirmation, again, moving. <laughs> Cupid's arrows are moving or taking action, traveling. Definitely love and emotions between the two of you and listening to your intuition. And here's the balance and healing and patience and soulmates coming together or are together here. So let's see for the signs here. We do have um, Capricorn, I'm going to say Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, let's see. Knight of Wands, I believe, is Leo. Libra. <laughs> That's basically it. Over here we have uh, Pisces, Sagittarius there. And then the Queen of Cups is Cancer. Look, we just have the Ace of Cups there. So this is like a whole new beginning renewal. May not have seen the path too clearly. This is Pisces, but now having total renewal, love, <laughs> and Ace of Wands in the wheel. Things going in your favor. Better luck and timing. Fortune, destiny, fate. Ace of Wands, fiery, passionate, new beginning. Fiery, passionate, new beginning. Things going in your favor. Brand new beginning in love or just a whole renewal of love and emotions between the two of you. So that you didn't see the path clearly, but now you're moving on. There definitely is love between the two of you. Healing, balance, patient energy. There definitely soulmates here. Wow, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So <laughs> best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.